With 4 million sounds, what will you create? Take the free trial today. Hello YouTube, welcome to a new Synatomy video here from the Superbook 20 Home Edition. I'm on the line with Menke. How are you? I'm good. Hi, Tom. Um, I hope you are cr as creative and develop um, new products and also in the special times. You want to show me something very, very special. I think um, what is not so normal or not so normal synthesizer, but a very unique design. Um, maybe explain me a bit this instrument. Thank you, Tom. So this is a uh, wing pinger. Uh, it's actually based on draw low pass filters, draw low pass filters with a complex network of logic circuit that doing the cross modulation and cross pinging. This instrument is based on pinging the filter based on the sound of the so filter pinging actually have a very like warm delicate and unstable sound. So I'm a big fan of it. How would you come to, to design? Is it something you had always in your, is it something you want to create always or do you come, come the idea from an, a different product maybe or something you designed in the, before in your career? Uh, actually this uh, came from an experiment like uh, by using the like concentrate uh, centered around f the the filter pin, and then I add the modulation. There are uh, both the uh, exponential FM modulation as well as uh, step modulation based on shift register. Uh, if mm -hmm. you know Rob Hordak, you know his very famous design Wrangler. So this th this part is inspired by that machine, but in this design, in the wing pinger, uh, it's not a normal DAC, like the R2R DAC. It's, it's a weighted mix, so you can get a pentatonic scaling from the step modulation when you hit this point, which is marked on the face pad. Is it a kind of synthesis, or is it based only on filters, or on... There's so, is this, the sound source is filter, so there's no oscillators. Okay, so you are based. It's based on self um, or feedback, or yes, yes, yeah, based on self os oscillating and pinging. Mm -hmm. And you, the logic circuit. There's a compar uh, like two comparators, which extract the logic signals from the audio mm -hmm. coming from the filter. What we know is that from filters, it can be with feedback, it becomes too extreme. And how do you manage this in this instrument that the results are, are still playable and not overdriven and uh, that becomes too clippy and so that you can use the instruments very uh, in a musical way. So how do you improve this compared now to a normal synthesizer that can do feedbacking? Yes, on the wing pinger, the range of the knob has been carefully tuned to be musical. So actually, there's no limiting, as you say, the feedback or what. But the range is very playable, so you can get a lot of musical result. And, and I can show you later. And, and, and internals are full analog or? Uh, is f the the sound is for analog, but there's mm -hmm. also a digital section where you can control the uh, the cutoff with keyboard as well as MIDI. And uh, you, you know when uh, when they are pinging, uh, the two two filters are pinging each other. You can get uh, like a nature chaotic rhythm. And that can be translated to MIDI notes as well. So you can use it to control your external equipment. And mm -hmm. there's CV gate out there too. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, the keyboard you are using on the right side on the, of the interface, it looks like a bit of um, Bukla inspired or? 
Uh, well, it's just a p- piano layout. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, you can compare it to like two one eight, of course. And uh, it sends out only uh, me- um, notes to it, or you can also pressure or something like this. Just note. It's just notes. Okay. Event. Yep. And maybe you can check a, a bit deeper the interface. We have here also a, a, f- a picture. Give us a little overview what uh, the different knobs can do. And okay, so like... the, the knobs are on one uh, in any columns uh, actually control the same parameters, one for each filter. From the left side is cut off. And then Q. Two knobs in the middle are exponential FM depths. And then the step modulation depths. That you can notice uh, on the marking of these two knobs, there are two little dots, right? It's just two little dots on the left side of the marking. Mm-hmm. So when you're turning the knob to the dot, you get pentatonic scale. Okay, and then the volume. So those are the, the knobs. And two switches. They are the bottom switch is turning on and off the pinging, the cross pinging, mm-hmm. and the switch on the top is to changing the pinging speed. On the bottom is slow, and the, mm-hmm. on the top is fast. What I see, I see there are also bigger inputs, uh, not only mini jacks. Um, can it be also used as kind of a filter bank, or is it? Yes. They are filters, so you can use audio input to it. And later in this video, I will show you about doing feedbacks, and uh, you can use the wing pinger to ping everything, every effector, everything that has an audio input and output. Okay. Mm. And internally, you said it's the, the filters are analog. Um, is it Are the filters your design, or are you using a specific filter design from the past, or what we uh, no, need? It's, it's a, it's not. A, it's actually a classic design, but it's like one filter in a chip is two one four four. Okay, and you say to me this. Um, this is the final version, right? Because last yep. year on Superbooth you showed a smaller version without a keyboard. I think. Yeah. So this is the final version which comes on the market. Yes, but only slight slight change because now the the four touchpads. For touchpads on the keyboard have a slight, slightly different shapes to give you an idea of what they do. Mm-hmm. This, this marking is different, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. I think the best way to get an overview of this instrument is to hear it. Cool. Yeah, agree. So first, start with very simple sound of self oscillation. So without pinging, this filter self oscillate. The lowest note is, is very low. And then if we back the cues a little bit, so we stop the self oscillation, then we start the pinging. Here come the cross pinging sound. We have the exponential FM. Gradually move out of tune from the pentatonic point. It's a 
gay signals are generated from the audio. It gets very interesting when you. Very playable. The Q parameter. Then I, we have the fast setting where you turn it, it into It's very easy to play the keyboard in tune because now I designed it to be if you turn the cutoff fully counterclockwise, then you're ready to go. You can also use the pinging, the logic signal, to generate an arpeggiation. And you can latch the arpeggiator like that. Tracks digitally for six octaves goes pretty low, respond to pitch band as well. Right, so stop the pagination. Here we go, it's a uh, wing pinger on, his, on itself. Then we can use this to ping the other effectors. Like for example, I have a reverb here, you can hear the reverb. There's a uh, Madrona Labs auto verb. And then if I turn on the pinging with the Q minimized. So the filter are now generating sound and so on. But rather we're using the reverb to generate sound. Give it a start. In this uh, live patch, in this live patch, I use a small max strip to turn. All right, to turn note into CC, so you can use the pagination to change the parameters on the reverb. to a resonator. This is a resonator in Ableton Live. And finally, let me go to the Virta, Matt Rona Labs Virta. Remember that we are 
what we are doing. Are without sound generated by the filter, but rather we're using the, the logic circuit, the logic circuit network inside wind pinger to ping the external effector. And then I can show you how to use feedback. On the, I turn off the the ping sound. We also got all the step modulation and also. I turn on the ping. And then the resonator.
try. Press no feedback. Come back to the summoning place. Okay. Well, when you uh, did, did, did you know this uh, demo? I think what the sound. <laughs> It's mm -hmm. really impressive. Wow. Thank you. Um, what was your aim with this instrument? Uh, was it to create this very organic sound or very chaotic? Or what do you want to achieve? What kind of sounds with it? Is it... Actually, it's not, the, it's not just one sound I'm after. I'm after. What I'm after is to blend the possibility of tonal and atonal, harmonic and uh, chaotic mm -hmm. i want uh, a player to be able to just going between the harmonic and the chaotic sound very quickly mm -hmm. just with with a turn off one knob or what so it's like a, a, a unity of tuno and a tuno sound control and generation Stuff like that, a, bl a blend of uh, human decision and the machine decision. Right. Very, very, very impressive. Thank a very, for me, it sounds very organic, but also it comes very near to glass sounds, a bit uh, like physical modeling a bit, and then very filtering again. And then very, as you said, very chaotic and very noisy, the feedbacks you hear. Yes, I'm pretty okay. sure there are many experimental music musicians also who love using this instrument. Thank you. And it's also perfect for generating the very deep, low sign based tones with the MIDI input and pitch fan and the keyboard. Mm -hmm. So it's also, it can also serve like a studio tool too. Mm -hmm. You can play some melodies on it because it can track for six octaves. And okay. you can you can find to the tracking with MIDI. The MIDI input actually the the program the code allows you to fine tuning the the, the octave at each uh, at each C. So there are like a few points that you can adjust with the software by sending okay. the, the the MIDI uh, CC into the wing pinger. So I will uh, later. I will I will make a, a small program, possibly in Max MSP or what, so you can tune the uh, scale yourself. I'm I'm quite impressed with this. <laughs> it's mm, thank you. Um, so when we can see it on the market, will it be it a big product release? So there will be many units available in the starting, or is it limited? Uh. It's a uh, well. Actually, I'm producing ten units right now, just like uh, as a a test production to fine tune the procedure of production, like, mm -hmm. because it, the, it involves a lot of work, uh, like uh, soldering, um, assembling, and calibration, right? And so I will fine tune the the, the whole procedure of manufacturing, and then I'll we'll, I'll produce more. Mm -hmm. And what price are you uh, uh, fixed? Is it fixed uh, the unit, or yeah, is it still to be planned? Uh, after the test production run, I will have a better idea of the final price. Okay, mm. but um, when you expect it in the, uh, this year, or of course this year, the first uh, production, the, the test run units will be ready within two months. I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they will be available over your website or your dealers or? Yes, they, are, they will be both available from my shop as well as uh, the, the dealer. I have a, a distributor, Alex4, in Europe. So you can, mm -hmm. be, you can get Wing Pinger uh, in a lot of retail stores. Okay. Later. 
big thanks for this nice overview of the, of the latest or the final version of the Wingpinger. I'm looking forward to hear it in many, many uh, systems, or also some, uh, of course, in um, sit um, concert situations. Or So big thanks for this, Menke. Thank you, Tom. I wish you good luck with this new instrument or with this sound machine, sound environment, I would call it. Uh, big thanks for this. And if you have questions, leave me, leave me in, the, in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as, uh, as possible. Big thanks for watching and hope to see you again in our next Superbooth 20 Home Edition videos. Bye.